Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and I have with me the Samsung Galaxy Note and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Both are AT&T variants of the, uh, the device, and both of them are turned off right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to run them through four synthetic benchmarks, and we are going to find out how they perform, how they stack up to each other. As we have a, uh, a dual core S3 processor in here versus the quad core Exynos over in the Note 2. So I'm going to power them on roughly the same time. This isn't really a startup comparison test because can't get it perfect, but uh, it should give you a good enough idea. I think that was within a second. Uh, so both the both the phones have approximately the same number of applications um, and they both have like a realistic number this isn't a clean install by any means uh, both of them are running stock uh, Android the uh, Note 2 is running Jelly Bean 4.1 the uh, the original Note is running uh, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 or 4.0 point something I don't remember alright so as you can see the Note 2 does boot up quite a bit faster and uh, now that they are both boot it up. We are going to enter every five minutes. That's great. Uh, not right now. Okay. So here we have the, uh, the same applications on both devices. And uh, I guess we'll start with N22. I have a feeling it's going to ask me to accept some sort of agreement, so I probably... yeah. <laughs> Well, as you can see, the uh, the Note 2 does load the application quicker, too. Let's close, close. Alright, and uh, user ratings, total test. Alright, so I haven't, I haven't used this, I haven't done this one before, so. Alright, so I'm assuming I should just be able to push test. And, here we go. Um, I don't want to overclock. Verify, that's good. Alright. Nice I'll start to test right now. Oh, choose SD card. Alright, well, we'll just compare the results then because uh, SD card, an eh, interesting little tidbit, SD card is actually the internal memory, the 16 gigs of internal, and the external SD card is because I have a 32 gig SD card for movies and whatnot. Uh, so I'm just testing the internal um, memory. So. Let's see how this does. Both these units are on battery power with uh, power saving disabled. And uh, that's odd, my halogen lamp above above the camera just made a, an odd noise, so hopefully it doesn't die uh, because the lighting looks pretty decent right now, other than the reflection on the, uh, the reflection on the Note 2. I see that the monitor, let me see if I shift the lighting around a little bit. Uh, that doesn't really make it much better. Oh well, that's not too bad. You can see the screen at least. Uh, so unfortunately, I didn't start them at exactly the same time. Oh, well, that's a cool pattern. I haven't uh, I haven't run this benchmark in a while. So this video is just going to be comparing synthetic benchmark scores, and then in a following video, we will do some real world stuff. Uh, we'll be doing some web browsing comparisons application load time, application install time, some frame rates and some games, that sort of thing. So this is probably a good time to plug my channel and say uh, if you're not subscribed already I would definitely recommend subscribing because I, uh, I'm going to be doing a number of other cool things with the Galaxy Note 2, the Galaxy Note, as well as some other Android phones and uh, oh, that's a cool pattern, I remember this, uh, and you don't want to miss out. So, as we, uh, let's see, so this is about 56 frames a second for that benchmark. I'm curious if we just go to the, uh, if they go to the same, uh, area. Okay. So, similar, very similar performance. The original Note has the, uh, Andrino 225, I believe, and the, uh, the Note 2 has the Mali, uh, 400, I think. Both capable GPUs, although both 
I believe both pale in comparison to the uh, the 320 that's on the Optimus G with the S4 um, the S4 Pro quad core, I believe. All right, here we go. Anyways, <laughs> killing time there as we testing SD card write speed. It says SD card, but that's actually the internal storage, so that's very very relevant versus the external SD card, which is the actual micro SD, which I don't have one in the Note 2 right now. So obviously we wouldn't want to we wouldn't want to compare external to internal because internal should be faster. Um, and we are almost there, 92% on the original note, so it's taking a little longer to test the note. Although, uh, part of that is my doing because of the, uh, because I didn't start to test at the same time. Oops. So, let's take a look at the note 2, which I already finished, and that, uh, I got a total score of 13,621. Versus the the note the original note that just finished got a score of six thousand and ninety six. So obviously this is only a synthetic benchmark test, but as you can see, the uh, notes the note two, uh, I believe yeah yeah more than doubled more than doubled the score of the original note on the synthetic test. And where can we find those uh, performance improvements? Well, it's not in the GPU. GPU scores very similar, so evidently that 400 is very similar to the Adreno in the way that it was tested. Uh, RAM, oh wow, the RAM is uh, more than double, and that's probably due to the S, the, uh, oh my gosh, the S3, no, this is the Note 2. It's probably due to the Note 2 having two gigs of RAM as uh, versus the one gig on the, the original Note. And uh, the CPU, obviously, the Note 2, the Exynos quad-core uh, 1.6 gigahertz processor blows away what's in the uh, the S3 in the uh, the original Note. And then I.O. is very similar. It looks like the internal memory is a little quicker on the or internal, I guess, flash storage is a little quicker on the Note 2 versus the original Note. So, obviously, uh, so let's go back to the home screen and we will go into quadrant standard and uh, I think I'm gonna break this into alright we have to accept some more license terms that's fine great I think I'm gonna break this uh, into two parts actually I'll run the other two in a separate part two video just because this is gonna be getting a little long uh, we're gonna be pushing about ten minutes already after a quadrant's done alright so let's see if I can start these at the same time for what it's worth and that was pretty good. All right, so as you can see, the Note 2 is flying out of the gate. It's almost done with its CPU test, and the original Note is only on test three of eight. And again, that's to be expected because you have a, oh my gosh, I think, I think it's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core S3 processor versus a 1.6 gigahertz quad core Exynos. Uh, so obviously a newer architecture, two more cores, and a lot faster. So, the uh, the Note 2, but similar GPU performance so far, I believe. All right, let's. I was gonna say I'm gonna wait for one more demo. I think the next one is the uh, the DNA strand or whatnot twisting. Ah, there it is. And uh, I want to see about 58, 59 frames per second. Up uh, 38, 34. Okay. All right. So I just want to see, you know, do a a comparison to the Note because when the Note gets there, we'll see what it uh, what it says 30 34 34 still 34 okay so it is it is uh, at least in that synthetic GPU test the uh, the 400 over here does does a bit better a benchmark results need to be sent right no personally identifying information great okay we'll send those and uh, this is on 4G, this is on Wi-Fi, so that's probably why it takes a little longer to send. Alrighty, so your device. Uh, I don't know if you can read these scores on the... Uh, I don't know if you can read the scores, but if you can't... Um, yeah, so the original Note scored 3300, and the Note 2 scored 5820, so almost double, uh, not quite double. But uh, as you can see, here's the 1X over here. Uh, it scored around 4,500 or so. And on the Note 2, you can tell, you can see that the, uh, you know, 
the Note 2 handily outscores the One X. Um, and most of that, most of the improvement, honestly, is in the the processor, which is the blue bars, and the uh, the I/O speed, which is the uh, which is the red bar. So I'm going to embarrass myself now by not knowing how to get the score break up. Um, and result browser. No, maybe that's some of it. Okay. Well, anyways, you can see that again the uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 handily outscores the uh, Galaxy Note in a synthetic another synthetic benchmark. So with that, we are going to bounce back to the home screen, and I hope to see you in part two, where we compare the devices with two more synthetic benchmarks. If you uh, if you believe that I'm missing any any great synthetic benchmark uh, that is very relevant to performance. Just let me know in the comments because honestly, I, I, uh, I've used N22 before and Quadrant Standard, but I haven't really used much else. So, if there's one great one that I'm missing, just let me know in the comments, and I'll install it, and we'll run it, and go from there. So, I hope you join me in part two, where we take a look at two more synthetic benchmarks.